this company, and yes, I know your goal was to go healthy, right? Exactly. So Sweet Lauren's is an all-natural cookie dough and brownie batter company. Uh-huh. So yeah. I started this because after overcoming mm. cancer, I was really conscious of the ingredients I wanted to put in my body. Right. I just wanted the purest, most natural, but delicious. I would say reading a lot of entrepreneur books, like when I read Steve Jobs' biography, I, I, I just had such, uh, it felt so good to not feel so crazy because you realize that just to be an entrepreneur and to be that driven and that obsessed with something, you really have to dive all in. And I think at times, you know, you're in your own little world. And I think surround yourself with balance. So whatever that is for you, you know, I know that I'm not happy if I don't see my friends and family enough, if I don't work out enough and find time to like meditate and clear my head and self care. You know, I don't feel right when I don't work hard enough too. Like I, I need to work hard and play hard and then For me, I feel like I'm living life to the fullest. There are a lot of low moments. My mom, who was my mentor and best friend, passed away the month before I launched Sweet Lauren's. So she was there for, you know, tasting the product and seeing the designs of the new packaging. I mean, that was really hard because people don't talk about their personal life when they're starting a business. My personal life affected my my strength, my creativity, my, you know, sense of grounding, everything. But at the same time, like you really have to build your own future. And I think it was a huge life lesson of just, you know, being grateful for what I have and taking responsibility for my own life. I think that when you hit lows, they're really opportunities. You know, you can look at life like in a negative light or, you know, how do I learn from this? How do I grow from this? How do I turn this into a positive thing? Celebrating is important. I think there's so many things, so many little things have to go right you know, that sometimes something really great will happen and then I'll be like, oh my God, on to the next thing. Like for instance, we're on the Today Show and I didn't even think about celebrating that. I was just like, oh my God, are we even prepared to take all the online orders? You can get caught up in there's always something next. And so I think it's important to also just like really celebrate those highs and like, you know, pat yourself on the back and really feel good about it because it takes a lot to get to these accomplishments. But then, you know, then hunker down and do the work.